Cozy How To, your place for a snuggly, warm learning experience. This is PowerPoint 2010, lesson number two. And in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add text to your PowerPoint presentation. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is open up PowerPoint 2010. And when you open up PowerPoint 2010, by default, you should see a click to add title text box placeholder box. And you should see a click to add subtitle text placeholder box. And if you click inside the title, which is here, click to add title, you're going to notice this text disappears. And that's what happens when you have a placeholder text box. It disappears when you click on it, the text within it, and you're able to add your own text. So in this case, I'm going to call it Cozy How To Tutorials for our title. And then if I left click inside the click to add subtitle, I'm going to write Snuggly Warm Learning Experience. Okay, so now you know how to add text to a text box placeholder. The next thing that I want to show you how to do is add text using the insert text box option. You'll notice if we look at our ribbon that in the font section, we cannot click on any of the text options. It's actually grayed out. So how do you go about inserting additional text to your presentation? Well, you would click on the insert tab in what I call the navigation menu bar part of the ribbon. It's not probably called that if you look at the documentation for PowerPoint, but as I said in the previous tutorial, I'm going to assume that this functions like a navigation menu bar. So click on insert. And when you click on insert, you want to look for the category that's called text. And under that category, we're going to click on text box because we want to insert a text box into our PowerPoint presentation that allows us to add text. And you'll notice that our cursor turned to a upside down T. And that's just indicating that we have the text box option selected from the ribbon. And if you left click into your PowerPoint presentation, you'll get a blinking cursor with a box surrounding it. So now we can add additional text wherever we want in our PowerPoint presentation. So I can write, this is a easy presentation by Cozy How To. Okay, and if we wanted to reposition this text box, all we have to do is place our cursor over the dotted line surrounding this text. And you'll notice that our cursor turns into uh, a bunch of arrows, pointing one pointing north, one pointing south, one pointing west, one pointing east. And that's just indicating that we can move this text box around when it changes to that symbol. If we move our cursor off of it, it goes back to a standard cursor. If we place it over it, over the dotted lines, the arrows face north, south, west, and east, indicating that we can move this text box. So if we left click and drag, we'll be able to move this text box around. And you'll notice that it indicates that by showing a rectangle of where we're going to place that text box. So if I place it down here, it'll now be at the bottom. So I think you get the general idea of how to now move the text boxes around and also how to insert text. And the same applies to the text box placeholders that we were dealing with earlier. We place our cursor over the dotted line. We'll be able to reposition it where we want it. Okay. And in this case, I'm actually going to move this text box up a little bit like that. You don't have to follow that. I just did that just to make things a little bit cleaner in terms of how they're organized. But I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if it was, uh, don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe. And stay tuned for future tutorials for PowerPoint 2010 brought to you by Cozy How To. Have a great day.